Inside this very box is the most secret secret in all of secret -dom. And I am its sole witness! 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 percent freedom pour it on like Jackson Pollock you, there's no boundaries or limitations for me when it comes to painting and you can water it down you can use a spray bottle you can step on it you can apply it with a rag you can um, pour it on like Jackson Pollock but the sky's the limit You know, I loved my childhood and I always hold on to my childhood very dearly. When it comes to my work, I try and have that notion of being in touch with the way I was when I was a kid. Cartoons kind of raised me and they're, they're what I looked forward to watching every Saturday morning. I looked forward to it. I would get up at five in the morning and watch cartoons and I'd watch cartoons every day after school. I still read comic books and I, I have Charlie Brown sheets on my bed, so I, I never let it go. You know, I think it's really important, especially if you're an artist, to, to hold on to that. Secret box. I've been painting for a long time, so I know the personality of a lot of different paints. Whatever kind of paint it is, if it's house paint, if it's spray paint, if it's oil, acrylic, water paint, I let it act like it's supposed to act and, and try not to force it into something else. Letting the paint drip, let the paint act like paint, let it do what it, what it wants to do. If it wants to mix, if it wants to drip, if it wants to glob, let paint be paint. I painted bodies, television sets, houses, and I'm painting on suits, handbags, Birkin bags, Gucci bags, Christian Dior suits. You know, I painted a Burberry trench coat. I love painting on clothes because it's instant gratification and then the painting turns into a sculpture once someone puts that garment on. One of my favorite collaborations was with a designer out of Antwerp. His name's Walter Van Buren Dong. The way we work is he sends me inspirations that he's inspired by on his collection that he's doing and then he sends me these images and I'll paint them in my style and then send them back to him and then he took those paintings and turned them into embroideries or jacquards and made beautiful suits out of them. It's a luxury and a bonus if somebody buys a painting from you and a, and a blessing because nobody needs a painting. Nobody does. You do need shoes and you need to eat and you need clothes, but no one needs a painting on the wall. So for me to live my life as an artist and being able to be free and just be a kid is really amazing. And I'm gonna try and keep it going as long as I can.